can see it's another beautiful sunny day. It's about almost 90 degrees. We're up in uh, near Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Just want to show you how an average person is using solar energy. We'll discuss a little bit how the energy is collected and then what the energy is used for. And then we'll talk about the potential dollars that can be saved by applying this. There's a picture of Mr. Sun, which is working alive and well today. So at this point, I'll turn it to over to our our uh, inventor here, and we'll kind of go through the whole system. Take it away, buddy. All right, so the way this project started was more out of curiosity. But I figured out a way to harness the power of the sun to power things around my house, in particular my water pump. That's kind of what it, where it all started was I have a little pond in the backyard and I didn't like the idea of having that tied to the grid. We'll show the pond later. That's a surprise. <laughs> um, so I didn't like the idea of, of running the, the pond pump off of the grid. I wanted to try to figure out a way to um, use the power of the sun to run it. But unfortunately, the pump required about two amps, which is more than some of the other solar. Okay. So this project kind of began on a whim. I was really excited about getting a solar panel, but I've always been kind of scared off by the price. But when I was over at the local farmer store, I saw one of these Coleman's. These are this is an 18 watt solar panel, and um, usually on on it's like like Amazon, they're fair, they're they're kind of highly priced. And I was hoping that I could get one for less than $100. Well, at the farm store, I found these for $100 each. And okay, so this costs you about $200? $200. I see two panels. Yep. Okay, so what are you planning on doing with this? How much power are you generating here? Well, with the two panels and the full sun, as you can see, uh, I'm generating close to about uh, 36 watts. Sure is a sunny day, that's for sure. And um, I've done some calculations. I've taken my meter. How many volts? Well, it seems to go up to around 22 volts. If you come, can you come around here for a second? Sure. There's a label here. Maybe you can get that into the. Can you get that? So it has all the figures right there. That the ratings. Okay, I'll have to zoom in though to do that. Okay. So. Uh, just read it. Just give me an idea. So how many volts? About 22 volts is what we're kicking out of here at about one point. Um, it's about 1.4 amps. Per panel or both? Per panel. Okay, so that's about three amps total. But I've seen, I, you know, it's twenty-two volts at three amps total, roughly. Yeah. So that's sixty-six watts you can get out of this. And there's how, and there, and there, of course, there's how things are rated, and then there's. Okay, the real so you can get about sixty-six watts out of this thing at twenty-two volts. Oh, no, I don't think we're not, we're not getting sixty. We're getting about thirty watts. For people who don't know, what does this do? Well, what this does is it collects the the uh, photons from the sun or any light, and and, and it turns it into electrical. Uh, uh, energy. Okay, and then what about the battery? Oh, okay, right. but so this thing is it's basically taking the sunlight and it's converting it into what DC? Yeah, DC. Direct current. Okay, so how does this get anywhere? Show me where do these, okay, so what do you the do then? So then you got wires that run? No, these actually attach and disattach with these connectors, which are pretty nice. Okay, so you got connectors and, and you got wire? And I'm going, I'm connecting them in parallel. Okay. So that means I maintain the 12 volts DC. Okay. But I do, uh, I do add the, um, the amperage of both of them. So if they're rated at like 1.2 amps each, then that gets me about 2.4 amps. Okay. So it comes down this line. So then you got this running. Along the side of your house, there's a shadow because I'm walking with the sun. The sun is really hot today. I'm just following you with my little camera here. And this line comes right back. So all those wires will run right, right into this and, um, box here. What you'll see here is I have a few things. Okay, well, first of all, this is the line that came from the solar panels. So this is a, approximately, you know, 2.5 amps. Okay, so the wire goes there. Um, and this comes into a regular, this is a, I think it's a 12 gauge wire, and uh, I, I soldered a, um, a 30 amp fuse in series there. Just so, for protection. So protection if somebody were out there and actually disconnect or shorted something. Okay. When it goes to here, so you can peek in there. Okay, what do you got in here? Those are coming into a 75 amp hour Deep cycle marine battery. Okay, so you got a battery. And then there's these two lines that come out, and those go right into what we call an inver inverter. Okay. 
the inverter is converting the 12 volts DC so into... So you're taking the 12 volts, or roughly 12 volts, from the battery into the inverter, and then the inverter is what steps it up to make it AC alternating current of about 110 volts. Correct. So the point is you're, you're going to keep the batteries charged. Otherwise, if we just ran this inverter, eventually the battery would just charge to zero. Mm -hmm. But now, because you're charging the battery, it's going to last a long time. How long has this been running so far? Well, it goes in cycles. So if I get a good five hours of sunlight, then I can get a good five hours of running different things off of here and maintaining a high charge. Okay, so it got plugged in there. Well, we got a couple things. One thing we have off of this line, you see that there's a power strip here. Okay. This is a timer switch. That's okay. from the pump I was telling you about. Outside. Yeah, let's just, I'll quickly just show you the, I'll go and show you the pump quickly. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. It's just a little, uh, little fountain and there's a pump there. How That's much current pump. does that pump draw? Well, unfortunately I don't know the ratings of the actual pump because I didn't, I mean, this was all given. Now you had a meter here But before. I do have a meter here. And this, this, meter this meter will actually show us how many amps, this is called a clamp, me clamp meter and I have it on the positive okay, line. Okay, can you hold it up a little bit so I can see it? Okay, so it says 1.8 amps. Yep. And then what else can you run off of this? Show us what else you can run off of this. Leave the pump on. Is the pump on? Oh. Yeah, we'll leave the pump on, okay. the, but we can come keep coming back to the meter to kind of see what we're drawing. I have um No, he's going to just turn on his radio. It's a kind of an old, crusty radio, but... Okay, so you get the idea. You can play a radio. There we go. No, did that do anything in the current? Not really. No, no the radio doesn't, doesn't draw too much current. Okay. Well, yeah. turn that down because I don't want to listen to that. Now, what else can you draw with that? Well, we have a lamp. This is a... We also have a lamp you can turn on. Now this is actually plugged in there too, just to make sure we're not fooling anything. Yep. Where is that plugged the in? The CFL is going into the power. This is called my solar strip here. Basically, it's the okay, solar. Okay, so it's all plugged right in there. So you got lights here. Mm -hmm. How many do you have? Just one. Uh, I have this is this now. This is a 75 watt. Now, so you notice that the fan went on when she did that. Six amps. Woo! That's a 75 watt light. But ladies and gentlemen, please look here. I mean, I'm not trying to be silly, but. Basically, this light bulb is being powered off of those solar panels out there, which to me is pretty amazing. The thing I have running off of the system is uh, my garage door. Oh, he also uses this for his garage door. So, you hit the code, what's up here? Now, how many amps is that? Come take a look. The door is going down. Quickly, we're going to run over here. 14 amps. 14.4, amps. So that is absolutely amazing. So you run your, you can run your garage door, mm -hmm. you can run your radio, you can run your light, my all off of those solar panels. Why don't you go yeah. through what we, what we figured here, just roughly. So if we say that one kilowatt hour is about 17 cents, and if we're drawing about 25, 24 watts. So, well, we set up a ratio that ratio. says 0 0.024 was to 1, as x was to 17 cents. And when you figure that out, we figured out that. About okay, so by by running this thing, we were saving 0.0048 dollars per hour, per hour, which is four, which is not very much. But. But we did a calculation. And then we also calculated that there were 60, that if you ran this for um, 61,274 hours, you'd make back what you put into it. Yeah, the so then we figured uh, about $250 is what he paid for this thing. So if you figure it all out, it would take 61,000 hours to even break even. However, but then we also had a thought, if, say, 100 million Americas, Americans were going to implement this, it would be saving about four hundred thousand dollars per hour. Now that money could obviously be used to pay off the national debt.